Okay, so I've got this uh, 2010 uh, Peugeot 1.6 liter turbo diesel that uh, suspect has a uh, blown head gasket because we're seeing oil uh, in, in the uh, coolant and it just sounds like it. Uh, so one of the things I want to do is compare using an amp clamp uh, to just straight voltage for, uh, for doing a relative compression test. So I've got my uh, cheap, uh, cheapest uh, Picoscope uh, around and set up over here and we're set on one second per division and 10, 10 mega samples uh, and then what we're going to do is do some uh, low pass filtering afterwards in order to clean it up so we can actually see what's going on because uh, these cheaper models the software doesn't support live uh, filtering so I'm just going to put in the card and I'm going to watch out here See if we can hear what's going on too. Wait for that to get to the back of the beginning of the screen. And that's that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and stop it. And uh, then we will go back here, the first uh, third screen here. Now um, it's pretty hard to tell anything from this, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. And uh, like I said, these these uh, cheaper picoscopes don't support live filtering. So what you do is you save the. Uh, waveform like this. Save, 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 save. Now I'm going to exit the software. Disconnect the Picoscope. Restart the software in demo mode, which I've got it set up whenever the scope isn't uh, hooked up. It starts demo mode automatically. Give it a second. All right, we're in demo mode. I'm just going to load the file. Open. Sorry, it's a little bit of a reflection here on the screen. That's not what, what is important here. What's important here is now we're going to be able to go over here on each channel and apply active filtering. Low pass. Can you see, you can get that on the screen. Low pass active filtering. And I'm going to put that to uh, one kilohertz for both of these. First, we do channel A. Okay, that's that. And then we do that for channel B. Uh, active filtering. I'll put that to also one kilohertz. Okay. Great. And now let's zoom in. These look, first of all, like kind of, let's just see if I can get a better shot here without so much glare on the screen. But um, they basically look like inverses of each other because one's uh, measuring the drop in voltage and the other one is measuring the increase in amps. So I'm gonna zoom in here. And uh, what is it? Uh, doing this with one hand. I'm gonna zoom in on this one. And uh, I think uh, you can kind of see that here. Over at the left, you see this one, and this one, this one. And if we keep going to the left, you're gonna see every fourth one on the voltage wave pattern here uh, is dropping less than the others. And so you see it much better like this when it's uh, when it's zoomed in. Uh, if we go to, let's see, I move this down to the amperage waveform. Let's see if we can see the same thing on this one. And here, keep going, I think it, you can see that kind of clearly on this one also. 
can see every fourth one, the peak is lower. Um, and we just keep scrolling, screwing, uh, screwing, scrolling, scrolling over. Uh, I forget how to speak English sometimes. Um, you're going to see that same thing every time. Fourth one, uh, fourth one, fourth one. Every time that one's lower. So um, you know that uh, signifies a compression problem. And the, the great thing is, is that um, really you don't have to have a clamp. You can just use the scope with a regular voltage meter, and you're going to see you get the exact same thing here. You can see very clearly from the voltage also the voltage drop is less on uh, one particular cylinder every time um, which means you've got a compression problem on that cylinder. Um, and just as a note of course is uh, I disconnected all the injectors um, so that it wouldn't actually try and start while I was doing that. Um, you can disconnect the fuel pump by removing its fuse or relay if you if you want uh, if you can find it <laughs> um, and that's it pretty much um, thanks hope that helps someone